Friday, June the 26th. It's I've been looking forward to since I've heard of, first heard about it. With the greatest respect to Johnny, Johnny knows that we're, we're good friends, we're all friends. But when it's a local lad, and when I talk about local lads, as you know, I'm a Mancunian, me, but I spend quite a bit of time up in the high peaks. So I, in many, many ways, I can call myself a little bit of a regular. Although I don't come into the club so often, I think most of you see me around the country music clubs in the area because that's part and parcel of my job. Something I love doing. But, ladies and gentlemen, going back a lot of years, we won't talk about how many years. <laughs> Not really. Going back a lot of years, ladies and gentlemen, there was a guy that I considered to be a pioneer of country music. There was perhaps half a dozen venues scattered within a 50 mile radius. There was audiences of six or seven people. This man was never, ever shy to work for charities, many, many occasions to work for nothing because he believed in what he was doing. And ladies and gentlemen, this year, You've given possibly the greatest honour that anyone can give anyone. When his own people say to him, and his band, of course, you are our number one band of the year. You, one of us, ladies and gentlemen, you know what I'm talking about. Mr. Don Keyworth, come up here, Don. Absolutely fabulous, and I'm knocked out by it, mate. I'm supposed to be an eloquent journalist, ladies and gentlemen, but please forgive me. I've worked a million shows, I promise you. Tonight, I'm nervous because I want everything to go right for this man. This man is an absolute credit to the music. Mate, and I mean this sincerely. I'll tell you, one of my oldest friends, whenever I run a club, this guy's, I'm on the phone to him. We're doing a deal. Sometimes it's money, sometimes it's just good luck. But ladies and gentlemen, I'm so thrilled to be able to do this on behalf of the High Peak Country Music Club as Band of the Year, a local lad, Mr. Don Keyworth and Top Country Sounds. <laughs> and what I'd like to do, ladies and gentlemen, I know the chaps by sight, but I don't know them by name, but I think it's only fitting if Don was to ask each member of his band to come up and receive their awards. Ladies and gentlemen, Don Keyworth. Well, he said it all, hasn't he? <laughs> yeah, he said it all. I'm stuck for words. Really? <laughs> no, never. Somebody else knows me. It's all, it's all right, people. Saying, uh, you know, it's a good band and they've won this and they've won that and they've won other. And uh, Brian says, He's a regular visitor to up until High Peaks, where we call it Top Country. And that's where band got its name from, and that's Top Country, and we've always represented the sound at Top Country. And if anybody's band, it's not our band, it's your band. And uh, during what past 14 and a half years or so, the Top, Con Top Country sound's been going. It started off with four, then it moved to five, and then it went back to four. And then it moved back up to five again. Well, there's a lot of players in uh, Top Country, that's been in Top Country Sound that are not here tonight. And really, I just, you know, I just might remember them. There's, there's odd ones that are. But it started off with uh, Bud Grindy, who played bass guitar and pedal steel guitar. Peter Chappell who played lead and rhythm, and that was a combination. That was before we could afford a rhythm on his own. And uh, then there came Trevor, Trevor Hobson. Trevor played rhythm. There was Ellis on drums. How about a round of applause for Ellis? <laughs> He's up there. He's up. Still got it back. Oh, Ellis. Um, Steve Hoyle came with us and played bass. And then tonight, of course, we've not got to forget old Bill. Bill Grindy is not here, I wish he were. Because Bill Grindy, no disrespect to any one of my players, they've always, every one of them, been good players. 
belting players. You couldn't get better. But Bill Grindy was music through and through. He loved every second of what he was doing. And for Derbyshire and England, there's never been a better one. And there never will. So just think about poor old Bill. And when you see him, just remember me to him, because I'll be honest with you, I've never seen Bill since before he had his accident. We've done a couple of events and this, that and the other, but thank God Bill didn't turn up. I'm just pleased he didn't. But anyway, after that there was Steve Oil. Steve came on bass. Then there's Alan, who plays lead. There's Brian, who plays rhythm guitar, me dad. <laughs> <laughs> Sat on that end there. Jack and Cannon came with us for a spell. Good God, Brian, I've forgotten. There must have been dozens of them. <laughs> well, they've always gone together for Give Us Top Country Sound. There's Ron who sat down here who plays bass for us now. But mainly, he's been country music, but you haven't got to forget, he's always been our hobby. Never could make a profession out of it. I don't think any one of us could. He's been a hobby and a sideline, and it's been our night out, and I think that's why we've all had so many good nights out. And that's all there is to it, but I'd like to take this opportunity of thanking each and every one of them. Because without them, I wouldn't have been able to do what I wanted to do. And Jeff said tonight that this band was packing up. Well, I can guarantee you this band isn't packing up. I can't do it on... <laughs> I can't do it on a regular basement, uh, a regular basis, because of the commitment that myself and my wife have taken on. Well, every now and then, you'll see it build up, Top Country Sound, we'll be back in action again, so you come and have a look at us and we'll have a good night out. So, Alan Jones on the guitar, ladies and gentlemen. Come on. This is Alan. Ron Humphries, bass guitar. Then there's my dad. Pass him your stick round. Come on. <laughs> Brian Godwin on rhythm. <laughs> and there's... there's... <laughs> All right, Dad, yeah. Uh, can you write tandem? There's one fella, I had a funny feeling he was going to do this at the beginning part of the night. Because it's a lad that came with us about 18 months ago. When Top Country Sound first started, his mum used to bring him in the bus chair to watch us practice in Tids at Love, and that's no joke. That's serious, isn't it, Joan? His mum and dad used to bring him across to watch us practice, and he's country music through and through, and he's done a disappearing act because he's absolutely feared to death, but I'll find him before the next spot, I'll guarantee you. So, in his absence, just Neil Smith, that's our drummer, I'll find him, and he'll come in upside down, I'll guarantee you that. But... I'm going to pass it back. I've rabbited on long enough, so... I'll pass it back. He called me a pioneer of country music, and he was frightened to mention in years. Well, I can tell you how many years it is. It's 16 years ago since I first met Brian Hurt. And that was down stop, yeah. And that was down stop for what, yeah. <laughs> A lot of things have happened, a lot of telephone conversations, same as he says. But a round of applause for one of the pioneers of country music just in this area, Brian Hearn. Come on. Thanks a lot, Dom. The nice guy reigns, doesn't he, ladies and gentlemen? What a fabulous guy, ladies and gentlemen. And what a fabulous band. If he doesn't come and take this, it's going on my mantelpiece. Where's that youngster? <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, your heroes, your number one band, Don Keyworth and Top Country Sounds, yes? Right then, ladies and gentlemen, I think all we've got to do now is the raffle. I'm going to... I will, I'll take it home if you leave it with me, because like I say, Manchester Bowman, you must side, lad. I'm proud of it. But we steal things. 